O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. God will come, and there shall be continuous day, for at evening time there shall be light. God is light. In God there is no darkness at all. Also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Glory and praise to you, Lord of light, perfection of beauty, splendor of majesty, brilliance of wisdom, bright holiness, deep mystery, refining fire. Shine upon us with the radiance of your face and the warmth of your blessing. Let us reflect the light you give and be a light to the nations so that all the earth may know your glory. To you, O God, we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the night I can take my rest. You alone keep my life secure. In the night I can take my rest. You alone keep my life secure. When I call, you give heed, O Lord, righteous God. Free me from my anguish, pity, hear my prayer. How long will they all remain a hard of a heart? How long will their lies and their vanity endure? In 
In the night I can take my rest. You alone keep my life secure. Remember, the Lord does wonders for the godly. The Lord will hear when I call on the holy name. Do not sin but tremble as you lie on your bed in silence reflect. In the night I can take my rest. You alone Keep my life secure. Offer praise and worship to a God. Put your trust in the Lord. Many sigh as they pray, Lord, show us your joy. When shall I see the light of your face? In the night I can take my rest. You alone keep my life secure. In my heart you have poured the fullness of joy. Far richer than the harvests of grain and wine. In peace I lie down, and sleep comes at once. For you, Lord, alone keep my life secure. In the night I can take my rest. Keep my life secure. A reading from Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord, give heed to my sighing. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I plead to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful, Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the abundance of your steadfast love, I will go down to your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness. Because of those who lie in wait for me, make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. They deceive with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God. Let them fall because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out. For they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. Holy God, all goodness and truth come from you. Keep us safe from evil and lead us in the paths of justice, that we may know the joy of trusting in you through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Proverbs chapter 16, 21 through 33. The wise of heart is called perceptive, and pleasant speech increases persuasiveness. Wisdom 
is like a fountain of life to one who has it, but folly is the punishment of fools. The mind of the wise makes their speech judicious and adds persuasiveness to their lips. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Sometimes there is a way that seems to be right, but in the end, it is the way to death. The appetite of workers works for them. Their hunger urges them on. Scoundrels concoct evil, and their speech is like a scorching fire. A perverse person spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. The violent entice their neighbors and lead them in a way that is not good. The one who winks the eyes plans perverse things. The one who compresses the lips brings evil to pass. Gray hair is the crown of glory. It is gained in a righteous life. One who is slow to anger is better than the mighty and one whose temper is controlled than one who captures a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the decision is the Lord's alone. This is the promise of God to our ancestors and to us. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, O Lord. The lifting of my hands as an evening sacrifice. We give you our thanks and praise, O God, for all gifts of love we have received from you and for your persistent mercy in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for the grace and peace of Jesus Christ. All creatures with whom we share the earth, 
those whom we love and who have loved us, support and encouragement from others, food and drink to share in your name. Receive these and all our prayers of gratitude which we lift to you now, whether silently or aloud. We give you our cares and concerns, O God, because we know you are kind and care for your children in every circumstance. Especially we pray for Lutheran and Reformed churches, people who live in poverty, those who are sick or suffering, those who work for their healing, comfort and peace for those who are dying. Receive these and all our prayers which we lift to you now, whether silently or aloud. To you, O God, we give up the burdens of this day, trusting your love and mercy. To you, O God, we surrender ourselves, trusting our risen Lord to lead us always in the way of peace, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Amen. of God, which passes all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.